Welcome to Pageant Live on the Town. We're here at New York Fashion Week and I'm here with Sebastian Latchley, who is a brow guru and a celebrity makeup artist. Welcome, Sebastian. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Fashion Week. Yes, I'm super excited, but I'm actually more excited to meet you. So tell me, what are the celebrity clients, who are the celebrity clients that you've worked on lately? Well, I've been doing this for 16 years, so it ranges pretty um, wide for over the years I went into it with the music industry. Right now I'm working a lot with the um, uh, celebrity models, a lot in the beauty industry right now, um, and also a lot of the entertainers that are working in, uh, in New York. You just never know who's going to show up in your seat from the day to day. I heard that you did makeup for Miss America, is that right? It is. <laughs> oh my gosh, so do you have any pageant tips for pageant girls that are competing? What kind of makeup should they do? What's the most important thing? Well, the thing is, it's not about the makeup as much as it's about the self-esteem and the self-confidence. You can have the best makeup in the world, but if you don't feel like it is, you'll carry it and it won't look as well. So I think like for pageant or anything that we do, runway, fashion, beauty comes back to give us that confidence to feel good about ourselves. And when we have that confidence, the rest goes with it. So what is the best piece of makeup advice that you've ever received? Less is more. Less is more. Less Ooh. Is more. <laughs> and do you like a red lip or a smoky eye? Uh, I like them both. And I like them together. If you can pull it off, I say do it. But less is more. <laughs> It depends on how you wear it. <laughs> of course it does. So there's a lot of makeup artists out there that are trying to get started. What was what was your big break and like do you have any advice for makeup artists that are trying to get their name out there? Yes. Um, starting out in the industry unfortunately is freebie, freebie, freebie. Build that portfolio, get the experience. What I really, really recommend for a lot of makeup artists that do come to New York and to wherever, wherever to fill that industry, find photographers who are really good at photography and fashion. Team up with them, you'll get all the experience and you'll build your portfolio. That's the best way to do it. And what is the highlight of your career so far? The highlight of my career was being featured in Vogue and now I represent North America as in the leading salons of the world for our beauty. Wow, that is so amazing. So what can we expect from you in the next five years? Oh, you'll have to keep in touch to a few morning shows. Wow, so where can we find you on social media? Uh, well, first of all, if you want to find anything about me, it's browsebysebastian.nyc. Social media, just anything, browsebysebastian. So brows, I forgot you do brows. Now, brow what's the best method for hair removal for your brows? Is it tweezing, threading? Tweezing, tweezing, tweezing. Tweezing or brow artists. There's a huge difference between hair removal and brow artistry. Waxing and threading is two of the worst things you can do. Uh, threading is simply an artist working with the features of your face to create the perfect shape to pop your features. Wow, that's some interesting stuff that I'm learning right now. <laughs> yes, it is. So what are you doing for Fashion Week? I am uh, going to try to figure out little pockets of sleep here and there, but at the end of the day, the show must go on. We got a lot of great shows, a lot of great designers. Um, so yeah, it, it's really exciting to see where we've kind of upgraded the trends and where we're going with makeup and beauty and pushing in the U.S. So it's, it's kind of exciting. Definitely. So what is the best like makeup trend that's coming up this season? You're talking for fall, winter? Yeah. Fall, winter, we're going to see a lot of blood red lips, and I can't wait, can't wait, wait. Blood red, blood red, blood red. What about the matte look, like the matte lips and stuff? Is that still? No. You're just That's hating tough. on me right now. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> oh no you're perfect. I love Thank it. You. But no, for, I'm to, we're talking also natural. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're talking to everyday woman. You know, we're not talking, of course, if you're going to be on camera, you have to load it. And just, but for the, for the fall winter that's coming, yeah, we're going to do a lot. It's going to be a, a lot of lashes, big full lashes, red lips, the blood red, not the bright. And um, I think we're going to still hold on to the whole keeping it a little natural and move from the big smoky eye and focusing on the lips. Wow, I just learned so much in this seven minute interview. Thank you so much, Sebastian. It was so nice meeting you.